Hello, and welcome back aboard the good airship Hopium. I am your humble host and captain, the Snappy Dude. Today, we have a lovely trip match. Um, this is probably my... I want to say probably one only, like, maybe four trip matches I've ever played in the history of all Gigantic, either version. Um, like I've said in the last couple videos that I've done commentary for... Been trying to play characters I typically uh, do not get the chance to play. Um, trip is definitely fucking included in that. Uh, normally a character I wouldn't play, I'm not a big assassin person. I, I like sitting back and uh, shooting spells and dropping some AoE. That type of stuff is fun to me. There's something satisfying about it. Like in real life I could go up and stab somebody with a knife. Like if I could, I could do that. I can't. I can't drop a massive wall of fire on somebody's head, so it's not starting off the game very strong here. I die almost immediately um, without doing anything, uh, so that's pretty sad. But yeah, I just, I mean, there is something satisfying about playing Trip or playing the assassins or the, the melee characters and doing well, and I, the more I play other hero shooters, like trying to find something to move to when Gigantic falls apart, the rest of the way <laughs> when the last single leg of gigantic that's dragging its unconscious corpse along fucking just gives up and finally fucking dies i have to find something else to move to i've i've come to appreciate the melee characters in gigantic a lot because i don't think i have played a single other hero shooter with melee combat that's as strong as gigantic like there's other games that have some melee content and some melee characters that are just kind of, eh, they're okay, they're there. Um, but I think Gigantic is by far does, does, does melee so much better than anything else I've played. And there's something very, very satisfying about landing a good combo or a good kill with a melee character in Gigantic. Uh, so even though it's not my typical thing, I, I did enjoy this match quite a bit. It just took me quite a, a bit of time to figure out, like, playing trip here like i said like i got my kill there i think that was that my first kill of the game or my second kill um but i got i get a couple kills in here you know i start doing better as the match goes on a lot of it is figuring it out because man there are so many characters in this game and all of them are so different jumping from one to another is such a an experience because just something as simple as the stamina changes from character to character just are so impactful it's, it's something i i don't ever realize is as big of a deal as it is until i actually do it because you get in this sweet spot where you know how far you can run with a character how often you can sprint with a character um and then you switch characters and you're just fucked because you end up with a character with less stamina and like Zenobia, and then you get screwed um which is cool so i get another kill there i pick up that mozu The biggest part of this, I think, was getting used to these moves. I got a double kill there. Sweet. Nice. I don't know how me picking up Wolfie there uh, did anything. Uh, got me that double kill because it felt like the Mozu one was like way, way before that. But hey, I'll take it. Here we go. Just me running around. I'm just trying to do some laps. I'm trying to trying to find a spot where I can push in and, and kind of catch enemies off guard. And so then I go over here and I completely fuck up and miss this fucking Vadasi like an idiot. Um, Mama never claimed she raised a smart boy. Uh, here I go. This Mozu was overextending a lot in this game. Uh, you know, I... As somebody who plays Mozu a lot, I, I definitely wouldn't have been playing Mozu like that. Um, it hurts my soul when I see somebody play Mozu like that. It's, it's, as a Mozu main self-proclaimed uh, greatest Mozu player of all time. Uh, uh, hurts my soul. Way too deep. Uh, Mozu has some, some great mid, sort of pretty close to long range potential. And uh, some decent tracking on her shots. There's no reason to be in that deep. So I'm, I, I was in there, I did some damage and felt like I, I had too much uh, off my health bar. So I ran back. Um, and then I just kind of gave up. I'm like, I'm not going to get back over there in time. They just have to do whatever they do without me. Just reposition myself to be able to rush in during the next 
phase. Here we go. Didn't get that kill, but definitely helped clean it up. Been having a bunch of fun. Went and saw Wild Robot last week. And that is an excellent movie. If you haven't seen Wild Robot, uh, I highly recommend go seeing it if you like anime. It did stuff. It is. It is. It was excellent. Um, but yeah, I gotta find stuff to do since it's almost impossible to find gigantic matches. To uh, but yeah, oh, it's so good. It was so good. Um, just, just excellent. I would say even as as an adult watching that movie, it doesn't feel like a children's movie. It feels like a very thought out plot. Um, excellent animation. Excellent humor. Heartwarming story. Definitely a good movie. <sighs> But other than that, I've just been trying to play Gigantic. I come home, I try to play Gigantic. If I can't get into a match, I just... I don't know what the hell happened with this effect that it just kept going as long as it did behind me. But it's kind of neat. Pushed him out. I was trying to focus on the sort of ranged DPS characters when I could, uh, just because I know from playing, <laughs> from being the world's uh, most inflated ego slash Mozu player, um, I know that getting caught out by a trip when you're a ranged DPS character sucks fucking balls. Um, <laughs> So I was trying to take advantages of when I saw people. Didn't always do the best of it. Got a trip on the other kill on the other trip there. Some things always satisfying about killing the character person on the other team playing the same character as you, so that was fun. Um, and then we get in here, we get this kill, and the match is over. But that was one of my first trip matches in forever. Um, it was really, really great. And uh, if you tune back in tomorrow, um, you know. I might have a, another character sort of preview for Supervive, which I have played the shit out of during the Steam uh, Steam event last week where they had the demo out. It was fucking fantastic. Nine kills, one death, and five assists. 14k damage, which was mm, third highest in the game? Third highest in the game. Uh, which is, is kind of disappointing, you know, Oru and, uh, who am I? Somebody on my team had higher damage than me. But, uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video and you want to watch more gigantic content, um, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to keep gigantic content going as long as I can. Uh, I have a little stockpile. Um, so hopefully even if the game gets shut down or something like that, uh, we'll keep going, and as long as I can keep doing bot matches, I'm going to probably keep doing that, even outside of uh, public matches. Um, again, thank you for watching. And as always, uh, your views are greatly appreciated. This has been Snappy Dude. I'm out, y'all. Bye.